What's going on champions? So today in this video, uh, I'm going to get a new keyboard. I know I just got a new keyboard like a week ago. Um, I just needed a keyboard. I was in kind of a pinch, you know. My keyboard died, I was gone, I came back, and I was going to stream uh, that night when I came back. So I bought like the somewhat keyboard. I just kind of went in, I bought one. Um, I, have, I had two weeks to return it today. It's been a week. And uh, I mean, this is a great keyboard. Nothing's wrong with it really for anyone. Uh, for me though, it doesn't work. It's just the mic. What is it? Microsoft 900. Cool keyboard, right? Looks cool, nice, simple. Um, not a lot of fancy stuff on it. It was actually on sale. Normally 50 bucks. I got it for 30. Um, I like the keyboard. However, when I'm playing, like I, I stream World of Warcraft, right? I play World of Warcraft a lot. It just seemed like um, whenever I was pressing keys, sometimes the keys just wouldn't press. Or I'd be walking, right, pressing my W key, and I wouldn't, I'd stop walking. Um, I'm thinking, maybe, I don't know, I have no idea. Maybe it was like cutting out, maybe it was, I have no idea. Um, I've been using wireless keyboards for a long time. I've had people tell me, oh yeah, you need to get a wired one, like a wired gaming one. That way that stuff doesn't happen. Um, I've never had one, but today I think I'm going to go get one. So, cool keyboard, it works. But if I'm also typing a lot too, uh, which I found out, um, I was typing a lot to the people in my party chat, and um, no, my one of some of my my hands hurt, start to hurt. <laughs> like the keys are really thin. If you guys are familiar with the uh, like the MacBook Pros or the or just I guess like the Macs, the Mac, the big computer monitor with the thin keyboard, um, it's kind of like that pretty much, where the keys are really thin and it's a membrane keyboard, right? It's not a mechanical keyboard. I learned that yesterday. Um, well, I knew it wasn't a mechanical keyboard, but I didn't know the name, I didn't know what people meant by a membrane keyboard. Now I know. And, um, what else? No, I mean, I'm going to return it. I, I'm within the two-week window. And see what I can find. I'm thinking either Corsair or Logitech. Um, there's like an HP one too that I was interested in. But uh, my issue is I don't want to fat finger the keys. Um, I kind of have like, my hands are kind of big, so... If the keys are too close together, then if I press 4, it's 3. If I press 5, it's 6. That type of thing. And um, I just don't want that to happen. So, let's roll. Had to stop to get some gas real quick. Um, I was on empty. So, gas is 4.29 a gallon here. How much is it for you? Leave a comment down below. And subscribe. And like the video. Next. And we have arrived. Best Buy. All right, time to go look at the keyboards, see what we got. I'm thinking Logitech, HP, or Corsair. Those are the ones people are telling me to get. Um, oh, oh my, wow, that's super zoomed in. There we go, that's better. All right, that was way too close on my face. Um, yeah, no, uh, time to go see what I can find. Uh, I'll see if they let me film in there, I have no idea. But, uh, we shall see. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Later! Alright, what's going on, guys? So, uh, they didn't let me film inside, but I ended up, got, I got my keyboard. I ended up getting this one. I ended up getting a Omen. Hold on here, let me flip the camera around, I'll just show you guys. I think it's cooler that way. Hold on one sec. There we go. So I got the Omen Encoder Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Um, yeah, I know some people may may not like it. I'm pretty sure, I wanna say it's an HP. HP makes this. Um, I like HP, I got nothing wrong with HP. Uh, I would normally go with like a Logitech, however, um, the keyboard that they had there for Logitech, the keys were too close together for me, so I would end up just pressing you know, they would all be mushed together and it would throw me off completely. So this is a good size keyboard for me. Um, it lights up red. You can turn it off, turn it on. Um, yeah, I mean, just a cool keyboard. Uh, it's about, yeah, they got to try it out. They had a demo in the store. I liked it. Um, I ordered it online and I had it for pickup. And then when I was there, I was talking to someone yesterday too about like the mouse. And, you know, I decided to go all out and why not? I decided to get a mouse too. Um, I got the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE. Um, 
I like the way it felt in the store. They had the model there. I just happened to see the, the mice there and it felt, in my hand, it felt like how the mouse that I'm using right now, which is just like a normal Logitech one, that's like 20 bucks at Walmart. Um, yeah, I mean, this one, it's wireless and I'm pretty sure it can be wired as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm going wired. It says wireless. It says wireless, but apparently there's like a port here where I can have it to uh, be wired as well. So, I'll see. If it's not, if I don't like it, I mean, I'll just turn it. It's no big deal. Um, otherwise, I mean, yeah, that's the, that's the Corsair mouse. I mean, it's pretty cool. And that's all I got for now. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the Dark Core RGB Pro SE from Corsair? Do you have any opinions on the Omen encoder? Um, yeah, I'm gonna set it up and head to the house and we'll see see you guys there. See you guys at the house. All right, um, I had to make a quick pit stop, pit stop real quick. Um, stopped at Denny's. You guys know what Denny's is? There it is, right here, hold on. There we go. There's Denny's, check it out. Denny's in all its glory. I don't know how many guys have had Denny's before, or I don't know, do you guys have Denny's in other parts of the world? Wherever you guys are watching me from, uh, it's the United States, so Denny's is pretty cool. It's, uh, I'm getting a hamburger, I'm not getting breakfast. I'm getting a bacon avocado hamburger, that's what I'm getting. All right, I don't wanna film in there because, I don't know, we'll probably get mad, so I'll show you guys my food once I get it. Enjoy. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that, you got a hamburger, you got some fries. All right, I'm gonna get home and eat this. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys some more of this once I get home, but for now I gotta get home. Denny's hamburgers with some fries. Yes. All right, so here's my food. I got my Denny's. I don't know how many of you guys have ever had a hamburger from Denny's or the fries, but this is supposedly 4K video right here. Maybe it's in 1080. So depending on what type of screen you're watching this on, the time you're watching this, maybe it looks good, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. You got some bacon. You got some avocado, tomatoes, lettuce. How do you guys rate this hamburger? Hold on, let me take a fry real quick, one second. We're good. There we go. There's the hamburger. I'm gonna eat. I don't know if you guys wanna see me eat. Probably not. Some people don't like to watch other people eat. So, there's my food. And talk about the keyboard and mouse later. See ya. All right, here's some more of the hamburger. Big pieces of tomato. Nice patty. See the bacon, the lettuce. See how the bite is. Mm-hmm. Have you guys had a hamburger from Denny's? What do you think of it? Think it's overrated? Is it a breakfast place? Should I be shunned for eating lunch at Denny's? I don't think I should be shunned. I know Denny's wasn't shunned because I bought a hamburger. Anyways, let's take another bite. Hold on. We're good. All right. Had to show you guys that. New keyboard and mouse next. All right, guys, let's pop in. So we're back in the lair. Um, I had some hamburgers. Well, a hamburger, I should say. Hamburger fries from Denny's. But back to what we were going to originally talk about. I got my new keyboard right here. I got my new keyboard. And I also got a new mouse, too. Um, when I was looking at the keyboard and stuff, um, I actually found, actually found a new mouse too. Uh, it's right here. It's the Dark Core RGB Pro SE. So I'm going to try that out too. I'm going to go ahead and open them both up. 
But for now, let me go ahead and set the camera down. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna set the camera down and let me open this up. Let's see. Do a quick little thing right here. There we go. All right. So you can see. So uh, I think HP makes this actually. Um, let me see. Go ahead and open this up. It was actually on sale. Um, it's normally a hundred bucks. It was on sale for uh, like forty, like forty dollars, I think. Actually, so it came came out to like forty two something. So it's pretty much just like the tax. Um, let's see how it is. I'm kind of curious to see. Here we go. Now let me grab the camera. I'll show you guys. Hold on. That so here's the cover. It's the Omen Encoder Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Here it is. Those of you that are, what is it? Uh, I don't know. Let's just look at it. You guys will be able to look it up. I'll find a link somewhere. Oh, can't get this out. One sec. Let's see. Here we go. Christmas morning right now. I don't buy a lot of new things, so anytime I get something new, kind of, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of cool. There we go. Alright. Here's the new keyboard. Right away. Oh, it's actually kind of cool. Let's see. Let me try it out. Let's do the it says your normal stuff. Um, one second. So you got the regular keyboard right here, right? Got your keys. Actually, kind of a good size, I think. You can hear it. Some of you guys like that sound. Some of you guys don't like that sound. Um, if you're in the stream, let me know what you think. There's that. Um, then it just comes with like instructions. It actually comes with some stickers. That's actually really cool. I like stickers. So yeah, it's a wired keyboard, which is what I wanted. Um, I didn't want any more of the, I don't know, I guess the interference. I don't really have an excuse now if um, it doesn't work. Oh yeah, there's, there it's focusing in. It's just a regular USB. Um, let's get this fired up and uh, see what it can do. We got that. Let me go ahead and take care of this real quick. Let me hook it up and I'll get back. All right, so I went ahead and set it up. Um, I literally just plugged it in. I plugged it in and it's on. Um, by default, it does have the red keys glow, which I don't mind. It's really cool. Um, there's a way to turn them on and off. Uh, I just don't know how. I, To be honest, I'll just leave them on. I don't really mind. I don't mind the red glow. It looks kind of cool. So... Yeah, here's some noise it makes. I mean, I like it because it just feels like a regular keyboard to me. Um, a lot of the gaming keyboards have had a problem where everything's all mushed together. Uh, granted, I haven't played any games yet, but I mean, so far, I mean, I don't mind it at all. It seems kind of seems kind of cool. So I'm just trying out some of the keybinds I normally use. Oops, uh, what did I do? I'll save that for the game. All right, I got that hooked up. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a wired connection, so it just goes right there. USB 3, so that's it, that's what I got. That's, uh, that's the keyboard. I gotta try it out now. And all that's left is to do is try it. So next I'm gonna get the mouse. So let's go ahead and take the mouse and let's open it up. So let's see. Let's see. Let's open up this mouse now. Let me put you down. There we go. All right. All right. So we got the mouse right here. The RGB one. It's a uh, Corsair. So let's see.
There we go. Cool. Oh man, did it not open? Uh, hold on one second. There we go. Part of it didn't open. Got it. Cool. Alright, let's see this mouse. It comes with wires. Oh, it does come with wires. Oh! Haha, <laughs> cool. Alright, I like this mouse so far. Hmm. Trying to be careful with it in case I return want to return it. So, oh, I got the extra ports and stuff on the back. Oh, I literally just open it like this. Oh yeah, there we go. Here's the mouse. Hands are clean. Washed my hands. Yeah, it feels just. It feels really nice. Yeah, I don't mind. And I do have some extra buttons on the side, which I like. So, Corsair, I've never had a Corsair mouse before. Um, normally I just have, I just use Logitech, like the $20 one to get like a Walmart. Um, let me show you what I got. So normally I got this right here. It's literally $20, Walmart, Logitech. It's got two buttons on the side. So I play World of Warcraft, I mean, really that's all I need. I don't need a whole lot. Um, I got a lot of shift keys and alt keys. And the mouse, this one, it holds the same grip. That's the key for me, is having the same grip as I do this mouse. Because this mouse is nuts. I love this mouse. Um, this one, I have the same key binds, right? I got the two mice. I have the two keys on the side here. And then also, um, I got two extra buttons up here, which is really cool. Because I actually do use, I use like my scroll wheel, right? I use my scroll wheel. I think it's, um, example, like I play my priest, right? I think it's like Shadow Word Death or something, or Shadow Word Pain. Here, it's like... Shadow Word, uh, Power Word Shield, and then I think it's like my auto run, toggle it on and off. So having the same grip is key. Um, I just wanted to try out the wired ones, because I guess apparently wired is better than the wireless. Even though wireless is clean and you got no wires hanging all over the place, right? Which is what I like. Um, apparently I guess wired is better, and you don't get like that potential delay. Because I was having the problem where it seemed like it would disconnect for like a tenth of a second or a second, and I had to like repress my keys. So that was both on the mouse and the keyboard. So that's why I'm getting the wired one. So after talking to some people, that's what they suggested and watching some videos. So it kind of makes sense. To me, it makes sense just because, I don't know, Bluetooth or whatever. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, I don't understand the engineering of it. I don't know it. But to me, it makes sense. And quite frankly, all these my, all this pieces of, all this stuff is, like, really nice. Um, I think, like, at a certain point, though, I have to say, like, it's kind of all the same. It just comes down to, like, how... It comes down to aesthetics and feel, I think. Because all this stuff has, like, all these great features, and you get, like, the control panels to do this and do that, and to me, as long as it feels good, and I got, like, my utility that I need, um, that's the main thing. Uh, obviously, I don't want to spend a lot on it. Um, the mouse, I think the mouse is about, like, 80 bucks. Um, the keyboard, the keyboard's normally 100 It was on sale for, like, $40, so that's actually really good. Especially for like a mechanical one. I don't know anything about the switches or any of that stuff. I guess there's like clicky, tac tactile, and I don't know. It's like a whole other world to me. Uh, the keyboard seems good for me for now. Um, I'll try it out tonight. I'll be using it tonight, of course, because, I mean, I don't have another keyboard. So I have to use it. And as far as the Corsair mouse, I mean, yeah, it seems cool. It seems really cool. So I'm going to be using that as well. Um, actually, this thing I was, I was concerned. It says wireless. It says wireless, and I'm okay with wireless. However, I do want the the wired, and it does come with a wire, so that's really good. And I'm glad it comes with a wire, because I would think like for, yeah, like 80 bucks, I would think it would come with a wire, in case you want to do it. Because I know some of the other mice, um, they do give you that option, too. Um, there were some that were like $200, and they had extra buttons and all this stuff, but I mean, this gets it done. I can do the wireless, I'm cool with the wireless, but um, yeah, no, I'm going to do the wired one, because, yeah, do the wired one. Um... 
that's all I got. Uh, let me hook it up, and I'll get back to you guys. Hold on one second. Let me hook it up. All right, so I went ahead and got the mouse out. I set it up. Um, literally all I did, I'm just using the wired function. You got the wire like right here. Um, I don't have batteries in it. It does have the fancy lights, and it glows, and all that cool stuff. Um, like I was saying earlier, you got two buttons like right here on the side. It's pretty standard for any mouse, really. Um, you got the two extra buttons here up top, which is really cool. You got the mouse scroll wheel, click, right? Then you just click on it. And I think I think this locks your scroll wheel or something. I don't know what it does exactly. I haven't pressed it. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just your rate. It's a mouse, right? I mean, there's only so much about it. Um, all the stuff on the bottom. It's kind of heavy. Um, it's heavier than what I'm used to. I'm used to this mouse. Um, this mouse is nice and light and easy to move, right? Um, this is, has, I don't know how much exactly, but I mean, there's definitely like a little bit of weight difference. It's not too bad. Uh, right now, just to compensate for it to, because it weighs a little bit more, um, I'm going to change like the cursor speed real quick. Uh, I'm just downloading the software for this mouse. And honestly, it's good to go. Aside from that, um, so far I like the mouse. I got the keyboard set up right here. Uh, I didn't download the software for it. I literally just plugged it in. I don't need to customize anything. Um, I don't really like doing all that custom customization stuff anyways. I just like to be able to buy something good, plug it in, and it works. To me, that's what's important. Customization stuff, I'll leave it to other people to do that stuff. Uh, not for me. Um, but yeah, that's the mouse and Corsair. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like it? Do you think it's bad? Funny, I got a Logitech gaming pad. I got a Logitech mouse or a mouse pad. Corsair mouse, and I got an Omen, which is HP, right, um, keyboard. So let me know what you guys think. You guys think it's cool? You think it's lame? I think it's cool, and that's what counts. So, yeah, I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And that's all I got for you guys for now. I'm going to go ahead and start my stream and leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, main things to subscribe, and leave a like, so that'll be cool, and uh, what else? I also stream on Twitch, I'm just streaming on Twitch today, um, twitch.tv forward slash junk in my house, same exact name as the YouTube channel, usually I'm going to be on YouTube, um, I haven't streamed on Twitch in four months, so I'll give it a shot, see what's popping, um, I've upgraded a lot of stuff, better internet, better camera, all that stuff, so... The people that have originally been following me on there for a while, they'll definitely notice a difference in the quality. And that's all I got, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog for today. Uh, Best Buy adventure, food adventure, and that's what we got. We got a keyboard, we got some Denny's, we got a hamburger, bacon avocado hamburger from Denny's with some fries, Corsair mouse, and now all that's left to do is, well, upload this video, stream, do the cool thing. That's all I got. Catch you guys in the next video. Later.